What is happening everybody? Molecular Narwhal here with another new game Wednesday the series where sometimes we review indie games live But that's not the case this week because I am out of town and I've recorded this for y'all. This is Greyman, a post-apocalyptic post band reunion. There we go. It's by the indie dev Colt Software. It's a uh, buyer beware. It is in early access currently. Uh, but the dad sent me the key, so here we are. Uh, and it's a uh, whopping $14 on Steam, so... This is a useful video for you, if you're debating buying it. Uh, it has one review on Steam. And it did not look like a good review. Uh, I don't know, it looks interesting. It looks interesting, so I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. And I'm gonna hope that it's fun. Uh, I know that there's gonna be problems with it, because early access, I'm fine with that. Uh, but... Let's see if it's worth $14. I mean, $14 is a lot for an early access game, so, in my opinion, especially for one that looks like this. Uh, I'm using an Xbox controller, but it's making me use a mouse for this part, so. Alright. This is some hard uh, rock here. What is this, the loading screen or something? Or did it freeze? You guys think it first? Yeah, I think it first. Okay, we're good. As usual, I have not seen any of this. This is, will be raw, uncut, unadulterated gameplay. Just like when it's live. Ooh, that, that, those graphics though. Oh god. <laughs> uh okay. Do you, nothing seems to do why opens this thing? Okay, my my controller's so messed up. Damage one weapon power is no effect. How do I That's why takes me to my bag. It's like, lo when I click it, it won't come up now. Okay. It's like it was taking forever to come up and I'd click it and then cancel it. Okay, alright. This is interesting. This is inter they're definitely not going for like, oh, oops, high def graphics or anything. Click m mouse wheel to reset camera. Okay. Use E or R to zoom camera. E or R or uh, left bumper or right bumper. Okay. How how do I? Uh, you just collect the item. Oh, okay. These are like tutorial things. Okay, let's go back. Use E or R to. Okay, what was this? Click the mouse wheel to reset camera. Is there no way to do that with the controller? It's kind of dumb to have it controller support, but not really like full. Right click mouse to look behind. Can I do that like, like one of these analog sticks? No. This might not be a, this might not be a mouse. And this might not be a controller kind of game. I'm putting my controller away. Okay. Right click mouse to look behind. Okay, let's, uh, let's. Okay, dude. Oh, it's a point and click. Use collected items underground to gain the edge in battle. Okay. I don't like the whole point and click kind of thing. Using items raises the stats for all your units. What? Open inventory pl plus mouse scroll wheel for changing weapons. Inventory is I. Okay. Guys, okay, this is weird. As usual, we will keep an open mind. Let's 
There's a car up there. Okay, this is this is kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. What is this thing? Go underground. Press enter. Okay. Not oh, good. Health. What is this like? Turn base. Health. Action. Damage. Defense. Range. So this is like a turn base fight. Okay, so him. Attack you. Attack him. Oh, okay, so we have to. M you. Attack him. I am so confused. This loading screen, though. Uh, okay, so I got a stereo. So what does that do? Oh my gosh, the inventory screen takes so long to load. That's amazing. Oh wait, am I in a different spot now? Oh god, I don't know where I'm at. Oh, the controls in this game are so bad, it's not even funny. The inventory thing doesn't work. Half the time. What do these do? Okay, whatever. Cause this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a short video real soon. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay. I. Okay, we're gonna go back to the controller and see if if it if it can be better. Okay, it, it might be better honestly. Okay, there's some inventory glitches there. Not gonna lie. Okay, you gotta play with like a combination of mouse. And keyboard and controller, I think. Okay, so this would be more of a mouse and keyboard. Okay, so if I look at myself, I have 50 health. I can do two actions per turn. This is kind of like uh, playing like uh, Hero Escape, if you've ever played that before. It's kind of what this is like, actually. I wonder if it's basic or like D and D board game or something like that. Eight damage, three defense, one range. So I have to be right next to you. Are these guys mean? Okay, can I use this thing? I am so confused. Did I... I'm out of actions. Does that show me like where he can move? Where are the cats on my side? Oh, they are! Oh, I was not thinking that would be the case. Can he move? Oh, the cats are on my side. What is happening in this game? Okay, so this guy is definitely the strongest, so you get rid of him first. You saw a uh, turn left. Same as you. Uh oh, that one's dead. I lost the kitty. I'm playing my my stereo. So that's interesting. How, how's he not dead yet? He, well, we take. He must have a lot of defense. Yeah, we deal six damage. He has ten defense. So, there we go. Guys, this is like the weirdest game. This is weirder than Fumiko. Go check out Fumiko, it was, it was pretty weird. This combat isn't particularly fun. I feel sort of lost. Do you guys see what's going on like with the, the con? It's kind of a weird turn. It's kind of like a Advanced Wars kind of deal, or Fire Emblem. 
What is this thing? I mean, there's no description of what anything does. Is there? Oh. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Uh, so this is a post-apocalyptic band reunion. We're trying to find our band members, I think. Can we... Can we cross the water? Guys, what, what the heck do we do? What the F is this game? Post-apocalyptic. I have like Mickey Mouse gloves on. Oh, oh, okay. I was thinking for a second I could go in the water. It, it was letting me, so. There's not a whole lot in, in way of like telling you what you can and can't do. I mean, that's kind of normal for an early access game to not have tutorials early on. I, this must be pretty early. I mean, I think it only released in... Oh, am I stuck here now? Did it just respawn me right where I died? I think it does. Uh, okay. I don't know what that was all about. It was like spawning me in a random spot or something. And I was dying constantly. Do I have uh Oh, I lost all my stuff. Yeah, because you probably have a certain number of lives. And I lost them all from that. It looks like it respawns you like right where you died. But it was respawning me right in the water where I was dying. <laughs> okay, is that the, supposed to be the Statue of Liberty? This is interesting, like as far as art goes. It's not good. I know sometimes I say, you know, for what the game's going for, ooh, it cannot be good and it's okay. But that's not the case for this game. It's just bad. Okay. I'm not saying that this might isn't a good game. Oh, okay, so there's a cat here, and I'm saving the kitty cat. I'm a kitty cat lover. Dude, I am too, so. No true rewards were ever spit. My I do eight damage, right? They have nine defense. So I mean, is that why am I dealing with one thing at a time to them? Yeah, I am. So he has three defense. Oh, we have like the same stats almost. So I should deal four to him. Let's, let's see if that's true. Yep, okay. So I'm dealing... You deal minimum of one damage to people, basically. Okay, but I should take this one out because he's a little bit stronger, I guess. Yes, yeah, I only deal one to this... Oh, okay, but then I all of a sudden dealt more. Alright. I do not like this loading screen. This game, how does this game even need a loading screen? It doesn't make sense to me. Picking up caps and stuff, it's like Fallout. This game is basically Fallout, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's take these cats to fight some of the weaker people. Six damage, seven damage, and they have low defense compared to them no actions left they have actions left though they're gonna kill these cats so fast yeah they're dead oh well cats sorry oh there's a bird there can I get that thing out Okay, they only have two. Okay. Okay, so this guy has four damage. This guy, so I should do like two, but okay, one. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. I, I don't know. I think there's a random variable to it too. What is this? Inter okay, so you can end your turn when you still have like turns left. And stuff. Well, you have moves left. I mean, how come I can't do anything to that guy? That must be like my lives or something. 
he has more damage than me, that's for sure. He's got kill. Wait, I just dealt some sick damage to him, though. I don't know. I don't understand. Eight damage. I mean, now I understand that, but it did not seem like that should have been happening before. So that much for sure. Okay. Whatever. Dude, go away, menu. Please. I can't- you cannot make the menu go away. Can this menu please go away? I literally- like, look, you can't- like, you try to, but you can't make that menu go away sometimes. It's really messed up. Gonna be one of our shortest uh, new game Wednesdays, I think. Try to keep an open mind. I, mean, I feel I feel bad ab about that kinda, cause I don't. I can't. You literally, like, you can't make that menu go away. You, like, I'm, like, in a fight with a menu. Or you can, like, look ahead, like, as much as you want, basically. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. I want to find, like, a band member. I'm pretty sure that's what you do. I think you find your band members. I felt like that was the point, at least. Maybe there isn't a point. Maybe I'm silly for thinking there's a point to this game. Probably am. What is that? Is that a yellow submarine? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not the kind of rock that this is. Uh, oh my god. What? How do I have, like, a, a legion? What the F is happening in this game? Ten... I mean, let's go kill this guy, I guess. I mean, my army is, is, I mean, lordy, we're thick. We are thick. Uh, can we move please? How come this guy's so far back? And we don't really have anything else. Uh, he could do more, but I guess we'll intern there. Oh! So it's just like that, huh? Damage. Go back here. I'm gonna get try to get rid of the strong one first. Oh, I'm out of moves now. That was that was kind of stupid. This is a strong one too, though I guess. Okay, so my armor is getting a little bit stronger at this point. Definitely seems. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, are we good? I'm gonna open my menu again, so don't don't stab me, please. What did that do? They don't explain any of this stuff at all. Holy cow! I mean, yeah. Trying to be considerate to the early access. Yeah. Oh, what is that? All right, form a line around me, team. That was kind of pointless, because now I, I can't hit him. Yeah, he's dead. How 
How? How on earth did I not kill that guy? <laughs> uh, what will that be? I still have an attack left in me. Yay! Darn it. I need range, like, does somebody have range on my team? No. Well, that was fun. What a great, what a great day. Uh, when we go on those, we pop out on a different area. I believe, yeah, we definitely do. Gunzu wants six mutant teeth for a weapon. Press enter. So it's got two weapons from this this bloat. Guys, it's impossible to open your like using your inventory does not work in this game. Oh, guys! Like literally, all I'm trying to. There we go. Damage one. How? Uh, oh, okay. I'm scrolling and it's working. Plus one defense to all friendly. You. Oh. So yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna go with that one, obviously. Okay. No menu. The menu in this game is just stupid. <sighs> Please go away, menu. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Erma Gerd. Uh, it looks like there's a thing over there. Some sort of like reindeer or something. Or like a caribou. Did you guys know that? Reindeer and caribou are the same thing. I didn't know that until recently. Hey! Well, they're not completely the same, but they're basically the same. That's a rough looking bloat there. I have to open my thing to see what I got, but. I think it's like part of it is if you move during it. I was holding the I button. There's two inventory buttons. That's probably the problem. Oh, wait. Okay. Look, there's just no indicator of what that does. You know? Okay. That was easy that time. To close it, at least. No indicator. Whatsoever. I already know. I, I can tell you with confidence. The rating of this <laughs> game already. <laughs> I mean, how are you supposed to play that? I just want you guys to know that when you open this game, there's three graphics settings. There's like normal, beautiful, and fantastic. We're on fantastic right now. I just want you guys to be aware of that. Is he a one-eyed deer? To kill that guy. He's just running into it, killing it. Or does he eventually die? No, I don't know. He disappears somehow. I see a light way off in the distance. That's where we're gonna go. All right, and then we're gonna quit this video. I'm hoping that there's something over there. I feel like something we can see this far away. There has to be. I hear some weird sounds. This game's kind of creepy. I I don't know. I don't know. This is an early access. So I don't want to say. I don't want to say. Don't get this game. Ever. But I would definitely say don't get this game now. With, like, unless something crazy happens soon, and this was all like a slow build up to some like crazy gaming, I'd be okay with that. I guess. What is this? What is this? 
What is this? A checkpoint? There's another one over there. I thought that was gonna take us a lot longer to get to. <laughs> Maybe we'll go we'll go over to this thing. I need a horse or something. That looks like a horse. It's like a road there. Dude, this is some creepy music. I hope y'all are creeped out. The music's not too bad, I get I mean like the actual music's bad to me because I don't really like like hard rock. <laughs> like metal or whatever. But the ambient music is kind of nice. It's really creepy, though. I can't really figure out if there's a creepy nature to that. I mean, I guess it's post-apocalyptic, so it's supposed to be like a dark metal feel, so. But, like, I don't... I haven't seen anything worth being scared of. This, uh, this little, like, creepy sound thing is getting louder and louder, though. Can I, I guess I can climb like any surface basically. No limits really. I think these are like checkpoints, so if I die, I'll come back here. I don't really know though. No way to know for sure. Oh, we just dropped somehow. This is some exciting travel. I can see why this game only has one review. I wonder how many downloads it is. $14 for this game right now. Man. This dev is straight trying to rip people off. He literally, this dev literally spent 30 minutes on this game and then was like, I hope I can make a few hundred dollars off of it. So I can buy a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> That's literally the exact situation that happened with this dev, I swear. Okay. There's a guy. Inari gives plus three teeth for one, negative one damage of your units. Can I see how much money I have? Oh, those little things on the left, that's probably my money, isn't it? I just realized that. How do I go over here? Oh, guys, these menus. What? Oh, okay, that was like tripping balls to me. I just want to open my menu. Why is there a zero on my shirt? Guys, I'm literally just sitting here trying to open my menu. My inventory, I mean. Oh, it's gonna make me like smash my controller. There we go. Yeah, okay, so that's my units. Maybe there's just not nothing to scroll over here. I guess there there shouldn't be. I feel like I noticed okay, there's some like beer bottles. I still don't know what these even do. I would imagine they would heal my health, right? They look like kind of that kind of thing. Like, why are there not... Why is there, like, someone to tell me what to do here and there, but not here? It's really confusing. All right, we're going to be... We're going to be done with this soon. What you guys thinking? That's a thick army, my friends. That's, like, thicker than your mama. I mean, holy cow. Uh, what is that he has range oh these guys have range what plus one health oh okay guys i don't know what to do i mean let's get it get in here i guess get as many attacks going as i can How many actions he's got? Four. So he can uh, get up there and he can get an attack off. Nope, that was four moves apparently. Darn it. He'll move in to be backup. 
there's a little bit of strategy to this, so it's, it's not like it's not like a, a lost cause of a game at all. It's just kind of is. Well, how did that use a? Okay, I killed that guy. That's fun. No, I, mean, I don't know if it's that. Oh, okay. So some of these tiles actually have advantages to them. Oh, plus one action. These are plus one defense. Oh, what are these? I can't tell because they're there. When they're there, you like you can't look at them really. But let's see. Oh, those these are bad here, huh? Okay. So these are good ones to attack these guys on, really. Oh god, I just, like, knocked my mic so hard. This must have increased range, surely, right? That's why he has four range. Can he... No, that's, uh... What's he got? Three range? No. Why can't I go there? Why can't... What, did it take two, like, multiple turns to get up there or something? It must. It must. Yeah, it must take multiple turns to get up on that thing. Oh, does he have... Can one of these guys attack one of these? No. Oh, yeah, he can. He has four range. One, two, three... Oh, okay. Well... Okay. So he keeps that. That affects the next turn, right? So he has got seven now. Uh, I guess we'll go over here. In turn. Uh-oh. There's so many people. There, this is so many people to fight for this early in the game. And it feels, maybe it's later in the game than I, than I think. Yeah. I should have stayed back and let them come to me. That was kind of stupid, wasn't it? Is it my turn now? Seven defense. When you get attacked, do you damage them a little bit? You must, like... Okay. So he's dead. Am I have okay? It to move on to like a good tile definitely takes additional turns. Guys, like something's happening for some reason. I can't. This is like, it's kind of interesting. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I am intrigued. Uh. Okay, I mean, like, I'm one shot in hose, like, so no problem there. I'll just leave him there, I guess. Okay. That'll work. Well, let's see. He's like... I don't kill that thing. Uh, I mean, I, despite my losses, I, I seem to only gain army, honestly. So might as well. Anybody else got actions left? I have actions left, but... Nope. Okay. Okay, so he'll attack my hyena thing. Oh, there's more in the back, huh? Can't scroll. I have 
I'm, my mouse is rolling over to my second monitor when I try to go over there. This guy's like super strong, so. Oh, okay, he's out of a text then. He should have. I mean, that thing's supposed to give me additional actions, so that doesn't make sense. But whatever. No, I, I want to save this guy. Okay. Very nice. You go there. You go there. You can go there, I guess. I don't know what you should do. I guess you can go there. I like the range idea, but it doesn't really do... What? Wait, do these guys have- Oh, they have range, okay. It's like, why- How am I dying? This guy should be- he Okay, that guy's like getting super strong every turn. Really? The guys of range are definitely the bigger threat. Uh... I mean, like, I guess I'll move him up and just hope for the best. Can't do anything else, really. I really want to move to a cracked spot. Oh, God. <gasps> Those guys dealt a lot of damage, huh? Do I go back to the checkpoint? So yeah, you come back right back. Okay, let's not go back and do that. I don't know. I don't know if I uh, if I would. Hang on. Okay, we're we're gonna go try the battle again. <laughs> I wouldn't win it now. Okay, so the battles are a little fun. They're a little bit fun actually. They're not. They're not the worst battles I've ever played. He's so happy looking. Like, I would imagine these things give me health, right? Okay. Uh, so you attack you, you attack you. you oh, okay, he's dead. Okay, that was a lot of moves there, huh? Okay, so there's all those guys. I'm trying to, like not get closer really so you should really if anything why can't he move there this guy should be here he should be getting as much health as possible oh can you not can he not benefit from those kind of things or something oh he did okay because it takes two moves to get there right Okay, so I have enough moves to attack a couple guys. What do these guys have a couple actions in them? Kill where I can. Because I can kill these guys. Oh, no. I was about to say I can kill these guys in one hit now, but. Okay. I guess I'll move that guy there. More opportune position. Same with that guy. Uh, then I'm gonna hang out, I think. Might not have been the right call. I don't know. Just trying to let them waste moves coming to me and then I just attack them while they're there. These guys have too much range, though. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting wrecked. What? I do not think about their range very much.
Really? How come that does not give me an additional action? I do not understand that. Uh, okay, so I... I have additional range still from that thing? That doesn't make any sense, really. I mean, I'll take it, but... Uh... I think I'll stay there because they'll move forward, I suppose. Uh, uh, how did that not kill him? Come on, man. I mean, here I am, sort of into it, so I, guess, I mean, I guess it's a, an okay game. Those range things are so strong. Oh yeah, they deal 16 damage, Jesus. Whoa. What's the guy to do? What? What does that do? I don't understand at all. <laughs> I should have plus whatever. Such confusion, guys. Correct. This guy can go here to increase his range. Those guys will have to use actions to get further, really. Okay, well, let's just uh, wait, I guess. They should not. How the heck? Yeah, I guess he can hit him. These guys will kill my guys with this. How is he not dead? Ugh. Freaking extra defense. Those things are definitely my biggest concern. Okay. We're, we kind of stand a chance now, almost. Action, action, action. Uh-oh. Feels bad, man. Yay, we did it! <laughs> I can't believe I played this game for over 40 minutes. <laughs> That's a long fight for half an hour into a game. Holy cow. That's like a boss fight. Look, there's a light over there. I kind of want to go to it. Okay, there's something weird to this game. I mean... It well, you know, if I was playing this and it was just me, I, I'd have quit a long time ago. I, I would have quit. I mean, as soon as I spawned in on that beginning location, I would have quit. I'd be like, nah, I'm going to go get a refund and I'd have quit. I wouldn't have kept <laughs> an open on it. I'm not a very open-minded uh, gamer. Uh, try to spend wisely for the most part. You know, so make quick decisions. I don't really refund games. I just only buy games that I... I'm pretty confident I'll like. You know, I'm not I'm not the kind of person that buys a game on Steam, plays it for an hour and fifty nine minutes, and then refunds it. I have never actually refunded a game on Steam and I, and I have no man's guy. I buy like no man's guy, so uh, But I mean there's something to this game that makes me kinda wanna keep playing, but the only reason I'm keeping playing is because, you know, the, the game reviewing thing, the new game wins the Delio that we're doing right now. I, we're, we're gonna see what that yellow thing is if we can. If it's uh, if it's gonna be an ordeal to get to, we probably won't. But oh, okay. It's everywhere. Okay. Was well, that just like clouds or something? It's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, 
I would I would quit playing along if if I did give it a little opportunity, I probably would quit playing as soon as I lost that battle there. If it was just me, um, but yeah, there, I mean, there's a little bit where part of me right now think is like it's getting a little interesting in spots, so I want to keep playing so so y'all can keep seeing it, so I can give it a, a good uh, as fair a review as possible for about an hour of gameplay. And but you know at the same time I'm like there's not, I mean. I was liking the ambient music. I just literally jumped from one subject to another abruptly. Sorry, <laughs> I was liking the ambient music before. There's not much now, but it's actually uh, it's actually kind of like discomforting <laughs> the way it just kind of stops. Look at these patterns on this the ground. They're kind of going for a "Don't Starve" kind of animation, but it's not as good. It's weird because the character, the sprites of the characters don't actually match the terrain. They don't look like they belong here. Okay, so we're going into this thing. If we die, then, uh, then that's it for today. I feel like we're going to die. Looks like there's color here. Looks like it, it retracts as I walk into it. We play some weird games on New Game Wednesday, y'all. We play some X Bird. What a weird game. We got lots of other weird games to play, too. Uh, I think Bohemian Killing is my favorite one we've done in this series so far. I really liked that. I'm not gonna lie. Bohemian Killing was fun. Or Block C. I also liked that one a lot, too. Or Block C was really fun. I still I play Or Box uh, C on my own all the time. Not all the time. I play it occasionally. But it's the only New Game Wednesday game I've actually opened up on my own time. And actually played when I wasn't reviewing it. Although, I, I'm planning to play Bohemian Killing sometime, but when I, I played that to review it literally yesterday. It feels like a long time to you guys, maybe, but I played it yesterday. So. Uh, guns? Let's see if he does have guns. That sure doesn't look like a gun. Do I not have any more mutant teeth? Oh my god, the menu problem is literally enough to make me kill myself. Oh. As much as I want to see what this gun deal is about. I really don't care anymore. Well, guys, what'd you think? I think we're I think we're gonna call it quits. I think we've uh, gotten the gist of. The, I don't think there's much to do. I, there might be an objective at some point. What is that? But it's it's unclear what the objective is. So uh, when we do a new game Wednesday, you may or may not know, but we review with a, a three rev a three uh, criteria system. We do uh, graphics, music, and gameplay. All out of 10 and then averaged on up. Um, let's talk about these graphics first. Uh, man. Like I said, it's like don't starve, don't starve together, just not nearly as good. They're definitely, I mean, uh, uh, like I say lots of times, they're not going for high detail graphics. That's obvious to me. And there's definitely something to it. Like, this floor is interesting. But there's not much going on in the world. I guess it's post-apocalyptic, so there wouldn't be a whole lot. I mean, we are getting to this place where there's, like, these green clouds in the sky now. And that's kind of interesting. But, like, these gun stands, I don't know, the... The 2D nature looks weird, even though I guess we're two-dimensional, so that's on purpose. I don't know. The the graphics make sense, but they're not they're not what I want. You know what I mean? Mac does plus 50 percent more damage when health is below 50. Plus one range. That's cool. Uh, it's definitely not like the worst graphics. Like, I could live with it. I could play it a little while, but... Uh, I mean, if I had spent my own money on this game, and the graphics looked like this, I would have instantly... 
uh, left <laughs> and been mad and then thought about refunding it, but I never actually would have probably. Plus the health went soft running it, three percent more damage for enemies. Oh, that's cool. Well, uh, so yeah, graphics wise, it's really not great. I think I'm gonna go with uh, okay. And this is keeping in mind that this is not supposed to be high resolution, high detail graphic. It's not meant to be good graphics, right? It's meant to be rough looking graphics. They're going for a theme here, uh, but that's no excuse for the lack of like detail and the uh, lack of thinking uh, variety, I guess. And uh, you know, like. Um, my character clips into the terrain all the time. And, I don't know, there's some weird stuff. Uh, I want to say a 5 for graphics. That's probably being a little generous. Uh, uh I'm going to say a 4 for graphics. 4 out of 10 for graphics. Uh, music. There's definitely... My favorite part of this game is the ambient music. The ambient music is... I mean, like, I'm trying to get away from the freaking ambient music. Uh, my favorite part is definitely the ambient music. Like, I'm creeped out right now hearing this, but this is kind of like Dead by Daylight music, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, it belongs in that game. This game doesn't, like, there's not really a whole lot creepy about it. I mean, I guess it's post-apocalyptic, some of the creatures are creepy. I don't know, I guess it's supposed to have a creepy, dark tone to it. But I don't know why, like, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, that's, that, that'll get more into the gameplay end of it, but... Uh, the ambient music is pretty good and creepy if that's what they're going for and it definitely it definitely they definitely are um, the actual music that plays isn't really my style but it's real music and uh, it's decent but there's only like one or two songs and same with the ambient there's like one or two songs as well and then there's like really quiet with a little bit of stuff playing here and there this is, this is kind of creepy. So I think I think for as far as uh, music goes, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Just because lots of these indie games we, we play don't really have great ambient music, you know? Uh, and I think that's important for uh, the feeling of a game, especially like this. Uh, Bohemian Killing had, had good uh, background music. But, uh, as far as gameplay, there's just not much to it, man. You, you walk, you maybe you buy a weapon, and... Uh, you don't know i'm not gonna try to open the menu but the the items that are down at the bottom you don't there's no way to know what they do you use them and they have no apparent effect at least none that i could tell the fighting's kind of fun it's kind of fun uh i kind of got into it there for a second but again the items i'm not sure what role they play in in the the fighting uh the fighting escalates really quickly i don't know where all those cats came from or the hyenas. I mean, I know that there's like one in a cage here and there. And maybe they multiply through the course of time somehow. Or, uh, you know, when they die in battle, maybe they come back to life. Or something. But, I mean, I was really confused by that. And there's not much in the way of telling you what to do. Or, the, I mean, there's not a clear objective. Like, I still don't know what the point is. I guess if I read the Steam description more, it might have told me what I was trying to find. I think I'm trying to find my band. I think I can find more band members. I post about call band. I think, yeah, I think you can find more band members, but I don't, I don't really know. I feel like this is like somebody made a, a weird dungeons and dragons mission or something like that. And that's what this game is based off of. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, uh, I don't know what the point is completely. I'm confused by that, and that's bad. That's really bad if you don't know the point of the game. Uh, that's something you should get really soon. Uh, in this hour of reviewing, I should easily be able... In the first 30 minutes, you should get the point of the game. At least, you should be feeling like you're getting to the point. Like, you, like you're going to figure out the point soon, at the very least. And uh, I don't feel like I understand anything about this game. Uh, the movement is clunky. It's so slow. Uh, the whole terrain, there's just not much going on. There's no, like, town. There's just, like, these random, like, that guy and that weapon shop and that dude. And some random cars for some reason. Um, there's not much to it. It's pretty, it's walk, fight, walk, fight, walk, fight. And, uh, the fighting's fun, and that's gonna save it a little bit. But the walking's not fun. And nothing about the overworld is fun. The underworld just is a little fun. Because it's, it's kind of like an Advanced Wars style fight, but a little bit different. And that's kind of cool. So I think gameplay wise, I'm going to give it a three. And it's only a three because the fighting's kind of fun. So we got four for graphics, six for music, three for gameplay, 13 overall. 
And that gives us a 4.3 out of 10. I'm going to round her down to a 4 out of 10. Because uh, it sucks. <laughs> Uh, I think it'll be, it might end up being a four. I might make it a 4.5 out of 10. That won't make it a four out of 10 with only what, what did we have? A, yeah. I, I don't know. It might end up being a 4.5. Let's see. We had a, a five for graphics. No, we had a, what was five for graphics, six for music, three for gameplay. I don't even remember. Four for gra four for graphics, six for music, three for gameplay. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll probably make it a four. Honestly, I think a four sounds good. Uh, four out of ten for this game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Your rating out of ten, maybe what you think of the graphics, gameplay, and music as well. Uh, overall, I'm not impressed with it. It'll go. Uh, it'll be one of those that I instantly uninstall after this. But anyway, hopefully the next new game Wednesday will be a little bit better. I do not recommend this game at this time. $13 on Steam, it's, it's definitely not worth it. If I hadn't played it, I'd have sold the, the key on like uh, that one website. Uh, or given it away or something. I don't know. If I'd known it was $13, I probably would have sold it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you're here at this point, I, I can't imagine you are. <laughs> but uh, kudos to you. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next new game Wednesday. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.